me to another episode of Hanging with Mr. C. Got a chance to go to a bird show earlier this year. And, uh, yeah, I want to apologize for letting the video off so late, but these are some of the footage that, some of the shots that I was taking as I walked in. So we got a bunch of steel shots, and then I got some video coming up, too. So, yeah, this is this is what the backyard looks like, man, somewhere in Lake Los Angeles. Lots of brothers, lots of brothers, Hispanic brothers, the black brothers. Uh, yeah. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So what you're looking at right now is the show pen. These are show pens. For those of y'all that don't know, remember, this is a, a, a show for beginners so far until we all graduate and get there, right? So these are show pens. So what you know, they got the... They got the craft paper across the bottom of the top of the show pins, because the show pins don't have no bottoms to it, and that prevents the birds from pooping on each other. But you get a chance to see, uh, you know, some of the birds, and man, it's pretty awesome. So this is a shot of the product table. So you see some nesting pads, nesting bowls, there's a feeder, some waterers. There's some of the boxes right there for, for the guys who take the birds away. That's a nice handcrafted uh, carrying cage right there. See that they won't drill on the other side. These are some of the things that the brothers are going to win based on the raffle tickets. And these are the trophies. So, Sam Smitty, Sam Smitty, he is the judge for this particular event. He will be judging the birds for this particular event. And that's him right there with his hands behind his back. So, these are some of the bags of feed. Also, some of the stuff that is going to be raffled off. Yeah, so always make sure you grab your raffle tickets right as you come in the gate. What you're looking at now are kit boxes. These kit boxes will be raffled off. And, and, and they have the corresponding cages. Actually, you flip the cages up on the top and you can let your birds out uh, when you're training your birds. Now, I don't have that particular set up, but these are some really nice cages. Really nice cages. Really nice cages. And the birds you see off to the right, right there, those are the birds that are going to be, that are going to go in the cages. All right, keep in mind, all the music that you hear in the background is not my music. It's just music that was playing at this particular show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. QSDC. These are some of the guys that have been featured on the covers. Keith London. Ravon Hall, you got, uh, what's that, Norm Reed, some of the OGs in the game, these guys have been around for a long time, man. Long time, long time, a lot of guys get featured in these magazines, it all depends on what group you're running with and who you're running with. Uh, yes sir, yes sir, so I just kind of wanted to show y'all that, my buddy uh, that I was with. Between the two of them, we purchased several of the magazines. And uh, the magazines got a lot of good information in them. So I, I would suggest you uh, grab them. I'm not sure if QSDC is still in print as opposed to you being able to buy them. They just so happened to have been a brother that was there selling them. What I understand, it used to be a magazine that was free. Right? And now, you know, <laughs> quite naturally, like anything, things change over time. And uh, I think we spent about $10 per magazine. And the price goes down the more you get. So it's pretty interesting. Here you can just see some of the brothers standing around. Some of the guys in different groups, you know, communicating, conversating, chopping it up. All right, now, you're going to see some familiar faces in the background. I'll let you figure that out. Uh, but these these are show pins as well. Okay, you see the brother with the mic? They're getting ready to announce the winners of the particular... Uh, Browns. So sometimes like they do young young hens, young cocks, then they'll do older hens, older cocks, and uh, things of that nature. That's one of the Mexican brothers right there that actually won. I think he won all three, first, second, and third. Took the family of birds. I was intrigued by that bird right there. You saw that black with the brown head? Yeah, pretty much looking more. I've been to several bird shows. This particular bird show, you're going to notice that I hung around the show pens. 
I wanted to, to get a better feel. After a few years of being in, I'm starting to get to the point where I want to get a better feel of knowing what does a winning bird look like? What does a number one bird look like, right? And uh, so that's why I was hanging around the pens, listening to the conversation, ear hustling, you know, chopping it up with some of the brothers, just trying to get a feel for what's going on. So there's some heavy hitters in the, in, 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 in the yard, and uh, that's what it is. But the green pen right there with the green pads, with that, I mean, with that green floor, I should say, that's where the birds actually get judged, right? When they when they land from first to I think it's one to fourth place. Sometimes they'll do three, sometimes they do four. All that really matters is first, second, and third. I don't think fourth place even ranks. But keep in mind, if you come in fourth place, you gotta be better than be, placing at all. Not placing at all. So I don't know. Like anything else, it's all about preference. It's all in what you like. Different judges look for different things. And so, yeah. Yeah, like I said, this show for me wasn't really about uh, so much of the camaraderie of the fellas. I want to get closer to kind of knowing how to identify a winning bird. And again, whether you like the thick necks, whether you like the longer necks, whether you like the long wood drop wings, drop feathers, if you like the feathers, the, the up feathers, you know, does your bird stand straight up? You know, with his feet up under him, you know, they're looking for things like expression, uh, clarity of the eyes, you know, the wing butts, uh, uh, chest, you know, uh, 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 muscle mass, you know, so, so a, lot, it's a lot that goes into it. It's pretty interesting. Really interesting. So right now you see he's auctioning, I mean not auctioning, he's raffling. So they'll go kind of in between, they'll do some raffling, they'll do some judging. And so the big focus, the big focus is on judging. It's about winning the trophies, y'all. And you're going to notice Smitty pull birds in and out. He's going to feel them. He's feeling for, he's looking at eye clarity. He's looking at the expression. He's looking at, at the muscle mass on the bird. And you'll notice him swish birds in and out of cages based on how they feel in his hands. Um, you know, that's pretty much how you judge the bird. So you pull that one out and put that one back in. You know, change his mind. Again, based on feel of the bird. He's going to put his hand in, he's looking at the birds, are they nervous, you know, you know, boom, 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 so, so what that meant right there was first, second, third, and those birds just got first, second, third, so I'm not sure uh, at this point, I don't remember whether that was hens, cocks, or whatever, now what you're looking at guys is the actual, uh, Auction the other birds this is the auction process. This is pretty much the end of the end. This happens at the end of the show. And uh, again, there's a lot of heavy hitters in the yard. Uh, and so it's based on what you think of the brothers that's actually raising these pigeons. You know, hundred dollar bird right there. So imagine that. You get birds that sell for ten dollars, twenty dollars, hundred dollars, and they even go higher again based on the breeder. And so, man, I had a good time there. It was, it was pretty interesting. A lot of old, a lot of old OGs there. The beauty thing was just a bunch of people being in the yard, man, and everybody getting along without no doubt. That's the one thing I marvel at when I go to these shows. But like I said, I want to apologize for not putting this out earlier. This show happened uh, earlier in the year, somewhere around March or April. And, uh, yeah, man, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So again, I want to thank you guys, man, for hanging out, Mr. C. It's always a beautiful thing. And uh, we got more to come. We got more to come. This is just the beginning, y'all. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to tell everybody about your favorite guy, Mr. C. And come on now, let's, let's hang with Mr. C, and let's make this thing happen. All right, talk to y'all later.